The Peter Stump Werewolf Trial The Peter Stump Werewolf Trial was a pivotal event in history as it was one of the earliest documented cases of a werewolf trial, setting a precedent for later trials and resulting in a lasting impact on popular culture. The trial took place in Bedburg, Germany in October 1589 and involved Peter Stump, also known as the Werewolf of Bedburg. He was accused of committing horrible atrocities such as killing and eating children, drinking their blood, and making pacts with the devil. In this video, an overview of the event, an examination of the trial, and an exploration of its impact will be discussed. One of the most notorious instances of the witchcraft trials that occurred in Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries is the case of Peter Stump. Many historians think that Stump was the victim of superstition and religious persecution, and that his confession was probably forced upon him. Stump was born in the electorate of Cologne in the village of Epperth, close to the little town of Bedburg. His precise birth date is unknown due to the destruction caused by the Thirty Years' War, which began in 1618 and destroyed many church registers throughout Europe. It is believed that Stump was a Protestant since most people living in Germany during his lifetime were members of this particular faith. He was highly successful as a farmer and could afford luxuries such as servants, horses and farms troops, he also owned more than one farmstead near his home village. This allowed him to become prosperous within his rural neighborhood and gave him a certain level of status among those who knew him. Stump was accused of being an insatiable bloodsucker for 25 years, gorging on the flesh of men, women, and children as well as goats, lambs, and sheep. He confessed to eating 14 children, including two pregnant ladies whose fetuses he tore from their wombs and devoured their hearts panting hot and raw, which he subsequently characterized as dainty morsels, after being threatened with torture. His own son was one of the 14 kids, and he was said to have eaten his son's brain. Even while Stump cherished his son, his desire for blood ultimately won. He allegedly took his son for a walk in the woods with him, changed into a wolf, and then ate his son. Stump was charged with a multitude of heinous crimes including cannibalism, serial killing and engaging in an illicit relationship with his daughter. This unlawful relationship between father and daughter resulted in them both receiving the death sentence. Furthermore, Stump was accused of having an adulterous affair with a distant relative which was also illegal under the law. To make matters worse, he admitted to sleeping with a succubus that had been sent to him by the devil himself, making this case one of the most bizarre trials in history. To prove his guilt, the prosecution presented a variety of evidence including Stump's confession, testimonies from people who had witnessed his alleged acts, and physical evidence such as fur from his supposed victims. The witnesses included those who had seen Stump transform into a wolf, villagers who had heard him confess to his crimes in public gatherings or conversations with them, and victims of his atrocities. After being subjected to intense torture for several days by the court officials, Stump eventually confessed to all the charges against him and repeated what he had said in front of many other witnesses. During the trial, Stump admitted to his crimes and gave detailed accounts of how he was able to transform into a wolf. He stated that he had made an agreement with the devil which enabled him to use a belt in order to become a wolf at will. Furthermore, he confessed that he had killed and consumed over 12 people, including his own son. This gruesome admission sent shockwaves throughout Germany as it highlighted just how real the threat of werewolves could be during this time period. Many people began to fear for their safety, particularly those living in rural areas where sightings of werewolves were more common. As such, Peter Stump's trial set off a wave of paranoia across Europe that would last for centuries afterwards. At the trial of Peter Stump, it was claimed that he had been transformed into a werewolf. This claim was backed up by evidence from witnesses who described seeing the animal with its left forepaw amputated. It was argued that since Stump also had his left forearm amputated, this proved his guilt as only he could have possessed such an injury in both human and wolf form. The evidence used in the trial was mainly based on confessions and eyewitness testimony. This was due to the belief that witchcraft was real at the time and that confessions could be used as evidence against someone accused of such crimes. The witnesses who testified against Stump had varying accounts of what they saw or heard. Some claimed to have seen him transform into a wolf while others said they heard him confess to his crimes. Despite the lack of any physical evidence, Stump was found guilty based on these testimonies. Stump was given a death sentence after being found guilty of witchcraft and lycanthropy by the court. Stump was executed on October 31, 1589, by being broken on the wheel. This medieval punishment involved binding the victim to a wooden wheel and then breaking their limbs with a club before finally beheading them. It was believed that this method of execution would not only punish the accused but also serve as an example for others who may have thought about engaging in similar activities. Stump's body was displayed in a cage as a warning to others after his execution. 
His family was left penniless after the authorities seized his property. At the period, a lot of people thought werewolves actually existed, and Stump's case added to the generalized fear and suspicion surrounding witchcraft and lycanthropy. But looking back, it's likely that Stump's confession was coerced and that he wasn't a werewolf after all. The Peter Stump trial is an example of the tensions between the Catholic Church and Protestant reformers during a period of significant social and political upheaval in Europe. This period saw a major shift as the two sides fought for control over the continent, with both using various tactics to gain influence. In this case, it seems that witch trials were used by both sides to maintain power and suppress dissenting opinions. The trial of Peter Stump was likely part of this larger attempt by authorities to demonstrate their dominance and discourage criticism from those who did not support them. As such, it serves as an important reminder of the struggle between religious groups at this time in history, and how powerful forces would go to great lengths to retain control. The witch trials were also used to get rid of people who may have posed a threat to the government or those in power, as well as an opportunity for the powerful to take over their rival's property. Women were often seen as easy targets during these times and accused of being witches more than men due to gender stereotypes. Witchcraft accusations frequently involved women, and they were frequently used as a means of repressing and punishing females who did not conform with societal expectations such as not getting married or having children. The Peter Stump werewolf trial is just one example that shows how far authorities would go in order to label someone a witch or a werewolf and punish them accordingly. This trial serves as an important reminder on why it is necessary for us to remain vigilant against any form of injustice that seeks to suppress people's freedom and basic rights. The Peter Stump werewolf trial set a precedent for later werewolf trials, demonstrating how confessions could be used as evidence against someone accused of witchcraft. It also shows how superstition and folklore could influence legal proceedings. The story of Peter Stump has become part of popular culture, inspiring horror films, literature, and other works of art. It has also become an example of how superstition can lead to injustice. This video has examined the Peter Stump werewolf trial, an important event in history which set a precedent for later werewolf trials and resulted in a lasting impact on popular culture. Although it has been over 400 years since Peter Stump was executed for his alleged crimes, his story continues to live on through popular culture and serves as an example of how superstition can lead to injustice. The Peter Stump werewolf trial is an important reminder that justice must be sought through facts rather than superstition. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos. Thanks for watching.